Hey Master Gardeners, my name is Dylan and we're at the Virginia Tech Greenhouses today. And today we're, we're discussing how to, uh, how to graft different types of rootstocks and scions together. For this case we have two different types of tomatoes, one that we want to take the, the root resistant rootstock and then the other the scion that's going to bear, bear better fruit and graft them together. So to do this you need to have your plants already grown to the size that it'll fit into your clip. You need a, a grafting clip to hold it together, a razor blade to make your cuts, and then you'll need some sort of, of chamber to put them in afterwards, which is just some kind of plastic bag with a flat in it so that you can have, have a chance for it to heal. So once you, you take your rootstock tomato first, the one that you want to save the roots from, we're going to cut it at a 45 degree angle right below the, uh, right below the first leaves. So all it is to it is you need to make sure you cut the same angle on, on both, both of your plants. And then immediately after, after you cut, it's very important to, to avoid getting any contaminants on there. So you should put, the, uh, put your clip on about half, halfway on the stem and go ahead and put it, put it straight into, back into your flat. And then go ahead and take your, the scion, the one that's going to bear better fruit, and you want to do the same thing, grafting it at about a 45 degree angle directly below your, your first two leaves. Then you take your first two leaves off so that it, it will slide easily into the clip. Make sure to line up your cuts so that the angles match on your tomatoes. That way it's going to actually have the chance to heal and the cambium layers will match up. So after you finish doing that, first thing you should do is, is mist everything to make sure that it has plenty of water. Then after that, you're going to take the healing chamber you've made and you want to thoroughly, thoroughly mist the inside of that again so that it's, it's nice and humid in there. Then go ahead and put, put all the tomatoes you made in there and seal it up so that it stays as, as humid as possible in there. And after that, you want to store your container out of direct sunlight so that it will stay more moist and you're ready to go. In about seven days you should uh, hopefully the grafts have healed and you have, have tomatoes ready to transplant. All right.